a KQED HD production. Cuttlefish is a cephalopod, which are mollusks. And like all cephalopods, they have all of their uh, appendages uh, in a ring around their mouth at the front of their bodies. They uh, have two feeding tentacles, which are tipped with a tentacular club, which uh, allows them to snag their prey and bring it back and to manipulate it with their arms to their beak. Dwarf cuttlefish, the species we're working with here is called sepia bendensis, and it's uh, about a three or four inch cuttlefish. They have very good eyesight. They uh, have a W-shaped pupil, which may allow them to have two pupil openings to be able to focus on things well. They also have what other cephalopods don't have, which is the cuddle bone. And the cuddle bone is actually a porous bone that allows the cuttlefish to adjust its buoyancy up and down. So without that, they wouldn't be able to swim very well. Cuttlefish are very good hunters, but they're also very tasty. So everything in the ocean wants to eat them. So they, they have very good camouflage abilities. You can come across a cuttlefish and not even know it's there until it moves. So they can change the texture of their skin to look smooth or to look more like a coral or a rock. Or they can also flash patterns on top of their skin. When we first put them on display, they were you know, three quarters of an inch long, and I put 30 on display so people could see them. And within a month, I had to start pulling them out because all the drama that would happen between males fighting each other, and if they don't get enough food, uh, they'll eat each other. You could do a reality show, I think, on cuttlefish, and, and it would be pretty cool. Next time you're at the aquarium, I think people should look for these dwarf cuttlefish. If you're lucky enough to come upon them during feeding time, uh, I think you get no other show like it at any other exhibit in the aquarium.